Hey kids, it's Papa. Are you ready to explore the Bible? All right, take your Bibles and turn with me to Numbers chapter 16. Numbers chapter 16. And uh, I want you to see a really, really sad story. Now this goes back to what we've been talking about. You see, when God calls a servant to do a job, whether it is a parent to be the parent, like over you, or a pastor, uh, to be the pastor of the church or, or any other responsibility that God calls a man to, they become God's servant and they're responsible to him. Well, in this story, we see that there were people that were upset with Moses and Aaron. You see, Moses and Aaron had conveyed f from God what he had said, that they weren't going into the land of Israel. Uh, and uh, it, at the time, it was the land of Palestine, and, uh, and, and he said, you're all going to die here in the wilderness and your kids, they'll go in in 40 years, but you're gonna wander in the wilderness for 40 years. And so they were upset about that. And so in Numbers chapter 16, and I hope you're there, take a look in verse one, it says, now Korah, uh, the son of Isiar, and it goes on and mentions a bunch of other people uh, but apparently Korah was the leader of this group. Verse 2 says, And they rose up before Moses with certain of the children of Israel, 250 princes of the assembly, famous in the congregation, men of renown. And they gathered themselves together against Moses and against Aaron and said, Ye take upon, uh, ye take, uh, upon you too much, seeing all the congregation are holy and every one of them, and the Lord is among them, and therefore then, wherefore then lift ye up yourselves uh, above the congregation of the Lord. In other words, they were saying, listen, you're no better than us. We're all holy. We're all, you know, we are all followers of Jehovah. And th that's true, but... Moses was the one that God had chosen to be the leader. And they were rebelling against God by rebelling against Moses. Okay, now this is something you need to understand. When you rebel against a leader that God has given you, you are really rebelling against God. Okay, do you understand that? When you rebel against your parents, you are really rebelling against God. When you rebel against your pastor, when you rebel against, rebel against anyone that God has placed over you, you are rebelling against God. Don't do that. Okay, how did it end for these guys? <laughs> well, we will see. It's a, it's a long story and it takes the whole chapter. But basically, uh, Moses said, listen, uh, let's have a little showdown. Tomorrow, y'all come and uh, we will see who is the one that you know, God upholds, whether he defends you or whether he defends us. And uh, so they all came. And as they got together, uh, Moses said, okay, if you die of old age, <laughs> then God hasn't spoken through us. But if God does something new and different, then, you know, matter of fact, let's do this way. If he does something different and the ground opens up and swallows you, then you will know that God wasn't with you and he was with us. And they were like, oh, God's not going to do that. God's not going to do that. And so you find here that uh, Moses told everyone else, get away from them because something really bad is going to happen. And, uh, and so everybody moved away from them. And so there were 250 men there, plus their wives and their children. All their tents were all there together, and everybody else got away. And uh, notice what it says. Jump down to verse 32. And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up and their houses and all the men that appertained uh, unto Korah and all their goods. They and all they that appertained to them went down alive into the pit and the earth closed upon them and they perished from among the congregation. And all Israel that were round about them fled in the cry of them for they said, lest the earth swallow us up also. Yeah, they didn't quite understand that this was God doing it. God was going to limit it to just the people who had disobeyed, but they were like, oh, 
this is terrible. And they ran away. And then, get this, as you read the rest of the chapter, you see that the next day, all of these people came back and they were railing on Moses again and saying, you did this to these people. You shouldn't have done that. Now, wait a minute. Did Moses make the earth open up and swallow them? No, God did that. And they were rebelling against Moses again, but they were really rebelling against God. And so God sent a plague. And we don't know what this plague was. It wasn't COVID-19 <laughs> because it would kill people immediately. And, God, and, and Moses quick told one of the priests, put some fire in an incense and, and go and, and run and run with the, with the uh, censer and the incense between those who have dead and those who are still alive. And he did and he ran quickly and God stopped the plague because of that. But still, over 15, well, over 15,000 people died in all of this. And we're led to believe it was 15,000 men and maybe even their wives and children. And it was a terrible thing. Now, the thing I want you to get against this about this is that when you rebel against the person that God has placed over you, you are really rebelling against God. Don't do that. Okay, remember that. If God puts his servant in place above you, you are responsible to them and you had better obey them and never rebel against them because if you do, you are rebelling against God. Okay, all right. Hey, love you guys. See you later. Bye-bye.